Welcome back to my Travel Turkey GoPro series. In this second episode, we're off to Chanakale, the harbour filled with cats and Gallipoli to get a dose of war history at Anzac Cove. My friend Hannah and I spent three weeks travelling Turkey, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Roxanne Taylor Media, and hit that notification button so you can come too. Let's go. We're at a random bus stop. Woo. Don't know what we're doing. Istanbul. Let's try and get a bus ticket, eh, Han? Oh, she's got it sorted. Camel cock. Just in the nick of time with 10 minutes to spare, we managed to get our tickets. I think we're back the other way. To Chanakale. <laughs> to check a lap. <laughs> we took a six hour bus journey south and across the Dardanelles Strait. So we're in Chanakale and this place is recommended to stay when you want to do the Gallipoli tour because it's super close. And look how cute the streets are, cobblestone, there's a clock tower. We're right on the water, it is adorable. Ooh, some mussels. Got my cup of tea. You can smell waffles. Just found all these cats. So cool. And they're so affectionate. We took some really nice sunset photos here, which you can see on my Instagram page at Roxanne Taylor Media. Oh, she's got the long photography arms. <laughs> basically a triangle. We spent one night in the port city of Chanakale soaking up the balmy evening. Is that the true horse? <laughs> yeah! And enjoyed some Turkish kebabs. Good for my sausage roll. I know my sausage rolls. My special order of a vegetarian kebab cost five lira, which is of one Australian dollar. Teşekkürler! And what have you got in yours? Uh, chicken and salad. Mm. Mm. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're not even drunk. It's a stamina kebab. The next morning we set off on a tour to the Gallipoli battlefields, an important place for Australian war history where more than 11,000 Anzac soldiers died in World War I. The tour started with a visit to the Gallipoli Museum to scrub up on the facts. It's cool how they've made these life-size figures with really great facial details so it's almost like you're looking at a real person and feeling, getting an idea of what they're feeling at the time. Have a look at these posters. So this is to encourage people to enlist. And then we headed out into the field. So this is Brighton Beach, and this is the beach that the Anzacs were supposed to land at, which would have given them a clear run to get to Victory Hill, but they, as you know, the story due to current and darkness and complications, they ended up landing further up at Anzac Cove. But our guide said that even if they had landed here, there would have been more Anzac casualties because there was a Turkish cannon gun up here protecting the area and they had been expecting people to land here also. So as it is in war, there are no winners and no matter what happens, there's always going to be casualties. So this is Anzac Cove. That's where the ships all came in. Obviously this road wasn't here back then and the plan was that they would and all the Turks were up there just waiting for them. It's almost hard to believe that so much misery occurred at such a beautiful location, lest we forget. After a five hour Gallipoli tour, we headed back to Chanakale for an unusual dinner feast. Like a kebab, and they've spread something along the base of it that looks like a meatloaf, um, but it's almonds. Mmm. Got a bit of spice. It's very mild, but I can taste the spice. It's like sweet. This is really interesting. Fermented black carrot juice. Water, black carrot, bulgur, salt, turnip, yeast, and garlic. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's like really tangy. <laughs> okay, that's not nice. <laughs> I knew when I picked, went to get out of the fridge, I was like, mm, I'm not going to like that. And then I was like, hang on, you're in another country, just try stuff. So, <sighs> now I know for sure. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Next, we're off to Selçuk and the ancient city of Ephesus. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Roxanne Taylor Media, and click the bell so you're the first to see it. Thanks for coming along with us, and I'll see you again soon.